Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another ultra rare Class B camper van value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, it's been a day or two since I've had one of these. This is an Explorer. This is a 2005. And yes, I know the NADA cuts off after 04, but this is an 05. It wasn't built till 10 of 05. And I've got the title, of course, it also says 05 Explorer van. But this is a 2005 Explorer 230 FLW. It's 21 feet long, same length as a standard half ton pickup truck. It's got the dually rear end, which is a great selling point on these because you, you've got an extra wide body. And I'll show you the advantages of that extra wide body here in a minute. Uh, almost brand new Michelin tires, only 57,000 miles. Folks, most of these little vans, because they're so easy to drive and park, the few of them you find on the market, they have a lot more miles on them because they, they're easier to use. They get used a lot more than the big ones. So to find one of these with 57,000 miles is pretty rare. Um, and the fact that it's an Explorer is even more rare. It's a solid, seamless fiberglass roof, very well built, well insulated. And uh, this is a nice unit, 57,000 miles, got the 5.9 Dodge. 360 cubic inch if you're an old school guy like me 360 v8 it's the magnum v8 got the 4kw generator instead of the little 2.8 it's running right now powering everything up inside it's a nice van folks and this is a perfect couples motorhome it's easy to drive and park if you can drive full-size pickup truck a full-size suv you're going to handle this little motor home like it's nobody's business. Got an awning, and we'll make sure that awning's in perfect condition. So it's got the 4KW Onan generator, which is more power than you need for this little van, but never hurts to have a little bit of extra, and that's what you have with this. You got a trailer hitch on the back. Folks, when you see Michelin tires on any kind of used vehicle, that to me that's always a good sign because Michelin's cost twice as much as, as your average brand tire. So the fact that somebody spent the extra money and put, and this is all six Michelins on this thing and they look almost new. The fact that somebody spent that kind of extra money on an on a RV, especially on one that's several years old like this, means they really took care of it as a rule of thumb. And um, it's got Michelin's glass is perfect. You can see the body. I mean, this is an 05 moat, folks. It's 12 years old, but look how good that body looks. The paint, the finish. You know, these units new were about $70,000, $75,000 back then. A lot more money now if they still made them. And uh, you can buy this one, folks, for $29.9. That's out the door, haggle free. Generator comes with a warranty, 90 day nationwide warranty, and a full inspection by our certified RV techs. Which, when you see the condition of this little motorhome, I don't think it's going to need an inspection or a warranty, but it's got it with it just in case. Stepping inside, folks, the carpets, the linoleum, the seats, the upholstery, everything is about as nice as you're going to find on a 12-year-old RV. Let's take it inside here. And remember, I'll show you the benefit of that extra wide body. First of all, driving it. The benefit is you've got a lot less sway. That's the thing that everybody hates about driving these vans is when big trucks pass you or you're in a lot of wind, these things sway. That extra rear end, that extra two tires gives you a lot more stability and less sway on the road. So you're gonna love the way this drives. Uh, up front, you can see it looks great. Carpets look great, seats look great. The dash air is ice cold. And unlike other kinds of motorhomes, you can run the dash air and keep this entire motorhome comfortable while you're traveling. So I've got I know I've got the generator running now with the with the air with the other air conditioner on, but you don't need it, folks, unless you're going to uh, be out 100 degree weather. It's got a solar charger built into it. It's working right now. Um, see the? You know, I just don't tell you, folks. I show you. We're sitting at idle, dash air is blowing cold. Of course, I know it just depends on where you point it at, but it's in the low 40s. And of course, I'm four or five feet away from the vent, so 
we're into the 30s at idle. Now it actually get colder as you go down the road. And that 360 cubic inch engine, folks, one of the best Dodge ever made. Power windows, power locks, tilt cruise, factory CD player, um, and cassette, you know, if you're old school. <laughs> Everything up here looks great, folks. The dash is not cracked. I know a lot of Dodges have that problem in these years mo these year models, but not the case with this one. I, 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 it would be safe for me to assume it's been kept under cover when not in use. Just from the condition of the outside, the dash, tires look great. Somebody's kept this thing under cover when they weren't using it. Uh, 126 hours on the generator. I don't know how well you can see that. Running right now. So you've got, I mean, that's a 2,500, 3,000 hour generator if you take care of it. Both front seats swivel around for party seating. It's got two tables that's included with this motorhome. You can set a small round table at this first hole right here. So you can have eating service for both the front seats and somebody at the on the couch. And then it's got a longer table that uses both holes for eating service on the couch. And this couch does make a double bed. You've got a built-in coffee maker, skylights, and remember it's got the solar charger, so if you want to go off the grid, that'll help keep your batteries hot. It's got a three-way RV refrigerator freezer, so it can run off of electricity, it can run off of propane, or it can run off, of course, of electrical power, AC, either plugged into shore power or when you run your generator, folks. Let's see, I haven't had this on very long, but I, it's probably enough for it to tell that it's working. And I know I do this thermometer thing because... You know, I know a lot of people, and I've seen some other RV dealers who do videos, and they'll stick their hand in the fridge and say it's ice cold, but how do you know that? <laughs> this way you know. Uh, 20 degrees, now I haven't had it on very long, but obviously it works. It's below freezing in the freezer already. It takes these things a few hours to get to operating temp, and when we check them out, when our RV techs do their inspection, we run it for a minimum of 24 hours, and then we check it on all three modes of operation for several hours each gas, electric, and DC, which is battery powered. Um, you've got a built-in water heater. You've got a, of course, sink, fluorescent lighting throughout the entire RV. Stove top, which I'll show you here. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. You can see the, it's got the stainless steel backsplash. It looks good. It's got the grill to config. I've got I put one of these in my in my 38 foot Winnebago, folks. I love it. This is the grill to confection oven. So this is an electric oven. It's a microwave and a grill all at the same time. You can operate this thing on confection mode. You can put you a couple of hamburgers up there, steaks, some vegetable skewers. You know, when you drive all day, you just want a quick meal. Uh, this is a great way to do it without having to drag out a propane or a charcoal grill. And perfect for two people. We use that uh, confection oven and just probably more than we use our regular oven just because it's so easy. And they've utilized every square inch of space in here they can, folks. They didn't waste anything. This is a well-designed little Class B motorhome slide-out pantry. You've got a propane furnace hanging closet right here at least it should be there's your tables there's one of them and here on the other side is the bigger table all that's included and I also have the pegs as well for it but that's a neat little handy spot to keep it I uh, got some extra plug-ins up here in case you want to pay TV or something uh, this is neat too uh, you know instead of putting one of those rooftop air conditioners RV rooftop airs that catch a lot of wind it decrease your fuel mileage they stuck a and this is from the factory, a window unit air conditioner in here. Because let's be honest, you're not talking about a lot of square footage in here. An 8,000 BTU uh, window unit will, will cool this thing off so much that it'll run you out of here. So you don't need that big 13.5 or 15,000 BTU rooftop unit because that's way overkill. So they put these in here, and if they ever do go bad, you're talking a couple hundred dollars in a Walmart versus thousand twelve hundred dollars at an RV place to replace a rooftop air and these right here of course it works uh, well, I guess it would if I turned it on right <laughs> now, 
I know it works, folks. It's probably just out of cycle right now because I checked this earlier and it was blowing 38, 39 degree air out of this. So uh, I know for a fact that it works. It's just on a cycle right now, so. But folks, I do guarantee that to work. You know, that's part of our checkout. And anything we find that's not functioning on it in that checkout, of course, we replace or fix. And I'll leave that on for a few minutes and I'll come back to it so you can see that it works. You got a stationary full-size bed in the back, which is a nice touch. And this is the benefit of that wider body. If you look at the road tracks or the pleasure ways, you know, one thing everybody hates about them is you have to take a shower in the hallway. Well, guess what, folks? Thanks to this extra few inches of width, you've got a fully enclosed side bathroom and you don't have to take a shower in the hallway. You take your shower and here's what they call a wet bath. The entire thing is all fiberglass surround. You got a medicine cabinet, big stainless steel sink, and uh, and just to show you, I'm a man of my word. Well, I said I am. You can see it's already dropped 10 degrees in the in just a few seconds. The compressor finally kicked on. I know it's probably on a slow cycle because it's not so hot today as it has been. It's about 70 today instead of 80. But uh, yeah, look at that, folks. I hit the coals, it goes to 48 degrees. This air works, folks, I guarantee you it does, and it will run you out of here. I promise you. This little area, well, that will cool you off great. But anyway, folks, this unit can sleep up to four. It's more or less designed for a couple. It can sleep up to four. This is something that somebody that can drive a car can drive this motor home if you're 16 17 years old you got a driver's license chances are you can drive and park this van without any problem if you're 90 years old and still able to drive you can drive this van without any problem um, perfect traveling van they get around 15 miles a gallon so you get better fuel mileage than you do some of the bigger motor homes you can park it in a standard parking spot um, there's no check engine lights, no warning lights. It's got both sets of keys. Somebody has taken care of this motorhome, folks. And, and try to find one of these. Look for, look for these Explorer vans. They didn't make that many of them when they were new, and they're very, very rare. You know, they're, like I said, solid, seamless fiberglass roof. You don't have to worry about leaks. Um, I mean, there's nothing to it, folks. Just drive it, keep the oil changed, keep everything serviced on it. This thing right here will last you for decades if you take care of it and uh, maintain it like you should. And it's going to save you, too. I mean, you're saving 40 grand or better off what it costs new. 57,000 miles, not even broke in yet. Uh, generator runs 120 hours, Michelin tires. I mean, this is a neat little van for the money, folks. $29.9, that's a haggle-free firm price, and this one's going to sell in a couple of days. Vans, camper vans, are about impossible to find in this price range, especially an Explorer, and it's got the thing that everybody wants is that dually rear end with that extra wide body. You're more stable on the road. You can actually get a usable size bathroom without having to take a shower in the hallway thanks to that wide body, and that's even harder to find. And you got 57,000 miles and a 90-day nationwide limited warranty included for $29,900 out the door. Not $29,900 plus $4,000 or $5,000 in fees like other dealers charge. It's $29,900 out the door, haggle-free, no fees. You'll pay sales tax if you're a Georgia resident since we're a Georgia uh, licensed, bonded, and insured RV dealer for over 49 years. That makes us an authorized tax collector. For the state of georgia so we have to collect sales tax to georgia buyers or what they call tavt tax same thing or if you're out of state you'll simply sign a form here you'll pay your sales tax when you tag and title this motor home at your local dmv office and you'll pay your state sales tax rate um, so you don't have to pay us that you get a 45 day temporary tag included and no extra charge you get a full inspection by our certified RV techs, and if you want a copy of what that inspection covers, 
Just contact our non-commissioned sales department. They're more than happy to email or fax you over a copy of a blank checkout sheet. Now, keep in mind, we do not check these out until after purchase. So, um, and of course, anything we find wrong on that list, we're going to fix it, folks. If we have to spend five, we don't want to spend that much, but if we have to spend five, six thousand dollars on this van to make it past that inspection, we're going to do it, folks all without going up on the price one penny so keep that in mind uh, everything's going to be functioning what we check on our inspections is we check all the plumbing the running the driving we just drove this unit 500 miles by the way uh, but we're going to drive it we have an ASC certified mechanic on our staff and he actually drives these things when we sell them see if there's anything that needs to be addressed and he takes care of it uh, I've got certified RV techs who go over it from there and they handle everything from the engine back. We make sure the plumbing works, the appliances work, air conditioners. We make sure furnace works, all your lights, all your uh, cabinets and drawers. And we make sure your sofa makes a bed like it's supposed to. We check your LP system for leaks. Make sure the furnace, the water heater, and the stove top works. We check the plumbing for leaks. Uh, we check... The awning, make sure it's in great shape. If it's not, we repair it. I mean, we really go through these things, folks, more than most dealers do. And that's why people come to us. That's why we sell five to 600 used RVs a year and why we've been in business for over 49 years. How many other RV dealers can say they're a family owned and operated dealership for 49 plus years, three generations? You know, we started back in 1968. We still sell five to 600 used RVs a year. We're one of the largest, oldest, and most successful independently operated used RV dealerships in the United States today. Folks, we got 170 RVs out here used. Uh, we've got more than any dealer within a 500 mile radius in stock. So, and we're the only dealer around that you can actually just get out and look without being escorted by a pushy salesperson. I don't have commissioned salespeople. I don't charge extra fees. All my salespeople are salary based only. So it's self service here, folks. You get out, you look, you see something you like, you come in. One of my salesmen gets freed up. They'll talk to you and, you know, hopefully sell it to you. But there's no sales pressure, no games, no gimmicks. You know, we don't follow you around like some of these other RV places do with a, with a, well, I don't mean it literally, I don't mean it literally but. We don't stick a gun to your head and say, you got to buy this now or I'm pulling the trigger like some of these other places do. We let everybody make their own mind up. That's why we don't have salespeople that follow you around from coach to coach trying to sell you everything you look at because that's not how you buy something like this, folks. You buy it, you make up your own mind. Everybody's an adult. Nobody's going to buy nothing unless they're ready to buy. I mean, that's why we have customers who have looked for months. I've even had customers that's come out here once every week or two for years before they bought the one they wanted. When they bought it, they had no doubt in their mind they were getting the right RV. And that's what we want, folks. We don't want any buyer's remorse here. But this is a nice unit. You can crank it up, drive it anywhere. Um, like I said, it's going to get great mileage. And uh, it's going to make you a nice little home. Give us a call, 706-965. 7929 evenings and Sundays 423 605 6747. Our website's parkwayrvcenter.com or net. We can see we got over 170 used RVs in stock. Uh, don't have many of these little vans. That's, you know, and I've said this in my other videos too, folks. If I could, all, if, if I, if, if the government came into business and said you can only sell one type of RV, the one type of RV that I would sell and have 170 plus of them here would be these little vans like this because there's such a high demand for them. There's such a, a, a low supply, especially in this price range. You just, you're not gonna find them anywhere else, folks. I mean, I believe me, I look on the internet every day for these vans for us to buy and they're just, I mean, I had to fly a guy, I had to fly one of my drivers 500 miles to pick this up from a, for sale by owner because they're so hard to find, folks. You know, you're not going to find these at your neighborhood uh, RV dealership. You know, this is something we try to specialize in when we can find them. I've got this one. I've got one other one I'm going to shoot that's a little bit less money. But, it's you know, this right here, of course, is the top dog as far as his little ones are concerned uh, for this price range. 29 dollars out the door, haggle-free, 
financing is available with approved credit and uh, we can help you arrange nationwide delivery if you want to fly in like many of our customers do they fly into Chattanooga Tennessee Airport let's be honest with you folks our average customer is a minimum four to five hundred miles away from their home when they buy from us because of our prices we sell them all over the country and uh, if you want to fly in we'll pick you up from Chattanooga Tennessee Airport pick somebody up this morning that flew in from Connecticut um, but, you know, if you want to fly in, pick your RV up. We'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport during business hours and bring you back here. If you want to drive, if you want to rent a car to get to us, we'll help you drop the car off at a local rental car terminal. And we have tow dollies in stock if you want to tow your own car back with you. Uh, just let the salesperson know because I sell them at dealer cost. I don't sell them to the public. I only sell them to the people who buy RVs from us. And uh, because I sell them at cost, I usually go through them very, very quickly. Um, so make sure if you want one that you tell your salesperson so they can reserve you one. Give us a call, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. You can visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.com or .net. We're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. You can like us on uh, you can like this video on youtube and subscribe to my channel folks i've got a great archive of videos um, and i promise you you'll learn more listening to my videos than you will talking to 10 uh these high pressure rv salespeople. and uh so make sure you check out my archive videos now keep in mind folks before you call us look at the date of production of the video today is april 3rd 2017 so if you're looking at this video and it's 2018, 2019, chances are this, you know, I know for a fact this one will be long gone. This will be gone by this time next week, folks. I can pretty much guarantee you that because of how rare they are. So always look at the video before you call. But thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.